What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from HighOnAndroid.com and today I've got the Galaxy S6 wallet case, the Tigris case from Draco Design. This is for the regular Galaxy S6 and it's a fashion forward case uh, from Draco. They're one of my favorite companies for stylish cases and bumpers. If you go check out some of Flossie Carter's videos you'll see that he has done the Draco Design's aluminum bumper for several phones. I had that from my Galaxy S5. Uh, it's a really great bumper. I've also been thinking about getting one for the iPhone. I just don't use my iPhone that much. They have those bumpers for the iPhone. And they are planning to make one for the S6. So I'm going to try to get my hands on that. But I want to give a shout out to Draco Design for sending me the Tigris PU leather case for the Galaxy S6. This is the red version. It looks really, really classy. So I'm pretty excited to get into the box. You can see here it's got some Draco branding. It says the Essential Fashion Companion right there. So Draco is definitely a company about blending fashion with your mobile accessories, which is something you know I'm all about on this channel. I love sneakers. I love to blend my cases uh, with my phone. If you haven't checked out the uh, first episode of Geek Sneaks with Just Don, go check that out. I'll be doing some more of those. But today we want to get into this. So I'll show you a few of the features here. On the back of the case, uh, the back of the box here, the Tigris Flip case with stand function. You can see here that you've got the anti-ghost camera uh, cut out here so that it's not going to give you any ghosting on your camera. You got direct access to all of your ports and you also got the stand function. So this case is a flip cover but can also be used as a stand. And then at the bottom see so you got your official Draco Design uh, product number. You can go register that online. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I have the unboxing knife here today just because they give you a nice box. I don't want to damage it by ripping it open. So actually some people were commenting on my video for the Zenfone and Idol 2 review saying, well, the box is just a box. Why do you want to save it? Well, some people like myself and others in the tech community, we like to keep our nice boxes, have a nice little box collection. So I don't want to ruin the, the packaging. So let's go ahead and pop it open, take it right out. It's really, really nice packaging. They've got a little bit of sticky tape there that holds it into place. Make sure I peel the, the little sticker there on the back. They had something, some sticky stuff holding it in place. So let me just scrape that off. All right, so we got that off. Let's hit the case there. I don't think we get anything else. Now, it's just a really nice presentation. So the box is just really beautiful to display the case, but there's really nothing else inside. So you see that a little piece of, if I can open it up again, there's a little sticky piece right there. So be careful when you if you get this case, that when you pull it out, that you don't uh, keep that stuff on the back of your case. So you can see it's right there, but if you just take it, peel it off, it's gonna be fine. So there's a little piece of sticky stuff there. I'll have to get that over off later. Just take some water and rub that on there. It'll come right off. All right, so let me sit this to the side. Let's take a look at this case for the Galaxy S6. Got the Galaxy S6 here. I've got the slim, uh, ultra thin iLoom tempered glass screen protector on here still. So if you guys haven't seen my video on the iLoom uh, tempered glass, the really thin one, this is the 0 0.10 millimeter thin version. Definitely go check that out. I recommend it. It's working out really great. It's much lighter than the other version of the tempered glass I had on. Both of the iLoom versions are great, but this one is especially thin. So let's look at the case really quick. You see here on the front, you've got some Draco Design branding right here on the bottom corner. You've got a cutout here at the top for the speaker, some speaker grill. Inside, you've got a really nice soft inside here so that it's not going to scratch your uh, phone, if you have a tempered glass screen protector, you don't need to worry, but if you don't have a tempered glass screen protector or any other screen protector, this is definitely not going to scratch your phone. So a lot of people complained about the Galaxy S6 Edge having scratches from the official Samsung uh, Clearview cover. That's not going to happen with this one. You got some more Draco branding, says Tigris down here at the bottom. You got two slots here to put in uh, credit cards, so that's really nice. And then here you've got a nice, this is really nice, smooth, uh, compartment to put your phone. So some of these flip covers, I feel like they might scratch up the back of the glass. That's another concern with the Galaxy S6. That's not going to happen here. It's got a nice soft feel to it. You got cutouts here for the volume, cutouts for the power. And on the back here, of course, you've got cutouts for your camera, cutouts for your sensors on the back of the S6. And then you can see here there's a little line going down the center. Now I've talked about this before with the Spigen flip case that I didn't like the dramatic line down the center. Some people in the comments actually commented on that video saying, well, of course, that's for the stand function. 
I know that it's for the stand function, but you can tell. Look at the Draco design. There's a slight little line running down the back. I don't know if you guys can see it from the camera. It's a small little indentation. It's not incredibly dramatic like the one on the regular uh, wallet cover for Spigens. Spigens is really dramatic and makes the case look tacky. All right, let's slap this in here and just uh, take a look at what the phone looks like inside the case. So put my S6 in there, snap it into place, and that's how the S6 is going to look. It's the profile of the S6 inside the Draco design Tigris PU leather case. You got cutouts on the bottom. The bottom is exposed, so the power port, uh, your headphone jack, your speaker grill on the top. It's also here exposed. You got your IR blaster, and then this side here is covered by the soft red material, except for the power button. And you can actually access your volume as well. It's not labeled, but you can easily press the volume buttons from outside the case. So if you need to turn the volume up or down with the case on, you can do that. And on the inside, as you can see, fits perfectly. And you're going to be able to take calls through the case because you got the speaker grill here on the front. Overall, this is a fantastic case. Let's take a look really quick at the stand function. So you can see right here that if you want to use this as a stand, it just pops right out and you can keep your phone stood up like this. If you want to watch some YouTube videos, just have your phone stand it up right there. You can watch YouTube videos at your desk or wherever you are. If you're out in public, you want to show your friend a video. You got your Tigris case, pop it up right there. Watch some videos on your Galaxy S6. So overall, I like this case quite a bit. I actually like it quite a bit more than the Spigen one. It is more expensive. It's $34.99, but the quality is better. And also, if we do the smell test, this one doesn't have as strong of a PU leather smell. So this is not a genuine leather case, of course. It's $34.99. You're not going to get genuine leather. But it doesn't have a really strong like chemical smell like some PU leather. And also, it's a really fashionable case. So for all of you sneakerheads out there, if you guys got the red sneakers, whatever red sneakers you've got, uh, easy Red Octobers if you're lucky, or I don't know, any red sneaker that you like to wear, even your Bread 11s, your Jordan 11 Lows that just came out, I'll probably rock this case with my Jordan Bread 11 Lows and also my 13 Lows that I got. So this is a great case to rock with any of your red sneakers and black and red, your Bread sneakers. So overall, a really fashionable case as well. All right, I think that's about it, all I have to say. So I haven't done many case videos lately, so I'm going to get back into that. For those of you who are enjoying Case Wars, I got Case Wars Episode 4 coming up soon. A lot of other great videos, including the G4 review and the new website is going to be going up very soon. I'll be unveiling the name. You've already seen the logo at the beginning of this video and at the end. I'll be unveiling the name and the website soon. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe. Uh, drop a like down there for me. Drop a comment down there. Let me know what I can do to improve. If you see anything, any rooms for improvement for me. And also give me a follow on Twitter and Google+. Plus. Both of my social links are down in the description so we can talk about Android tech all week. All right, guys, this has been my uh, unboxing and impressions of the Draco Design Tigers case. I'll drop a link down below if you want to check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.